Minitool contacted me to demonstrate the features of the free version of the Partition, Partition Wizard software. So this is not a paid review and I'm just going to demonstrate almost all the features that you can do with the free version. It's the longest video till date that I have ever produced. So I would request you to watch the entire video. Without further ado, let's get started. Once you open up the software, the interface is going to look like this. You can check the version that you're running by clicking on about, which is 12.1 I'm running and probably you're going to be watching at a later time and a later version will be available. Let's check for updates and if we check there are no updates. All right. On the top is the toolbar where you have different operations that you can perform. Uh, some of them are in the paid version. The manual will give you all the details of all the operation you can see. Below the toolbar is the menu bar. So you can see what your menus you have. On the left is the action panel. Each time you select a partition or a volume, the actions applicable will be visible. In the middle is the disk, the partition and the volume list where you can see the partition name, the capacity used, unused file type and type. Either if you have an MBR disk, it will be primary or logical. And if you have a GP, GPT disk, then all your partitions are going to be primary. All right. And below the list is what is the disk map. The disk map shows you all the disks that you have in the system. As you can see, for the purposes of this system demonstration, I have included five disks, out of which three are MBR, disk one, disk two, and disk three and this 4 and this 5 are GPT. So almost all the operations I'm going to show you, we start off by splitting the C drive. Let's say if you have a really large Windows installation drive and if you want to shrink it, you can do it with the disk management software, but it will require you to take two steps. First, you have to shrink the volume and then you can create a volume. With Partition Wizard, it's very simple. Just a matter of clicking once and it will do these two operations in one step select C drive, right click and once you right click all the operations that are pertinent to that disk or volume or partition will show up. To split the C, C drive is, is sim as simple as selecting C and clicking on split partition. We get this interface where we see that we are going to create a new partition and by default it has named it to D and it is of type NTFS and you can use the slider to slide it towards the right or left to increase or decrease the partition size or you can use the text box. So if I select the slider and slide it towards the left, you see I cannot slide it all the way to the left because it hosts the operating system file. This is a great feature by which we are not corrupting our operating system files. So I cannot slide it any more towards the left than what is required by the operating system to save its files. All right. So we can select the size in GB or MB uh, and there's a text box where we can type in the specified size that we want. I'm going to type in 30.00 GB and we select click on OK. Once you see, if you, this is a preview of the operation. It has not been completed yet. So what if you think you have made a mistake, click on undo and then select C again and click on split. And once until unless you click on apply and you give a confirmation, your changes to the disk will not be written and you are still safe. All right. So if you select 30 GB in MB, you see 30720 in MB. How did they come up with the number? It's 30 into 1024. That is what I think so. And that it was that is what it is. All right. So we select 30 GB and we click on OK. Now this time I'm not going to click on undo. I'm going to click on apply. So it gives us a preview of the D uh, D partition, which is 29.5 gigs and C with I have split it and D C is going to be 30 ply. It will ask us for our confirmation. So we can apply yes and it starts the operation and says, all right, you it cannot be completed. Why? Because we are resizing our operating system partition. So we need to restart our PC for mini tool partition wizard to automatically finish the rest of the pending task. I'm reading what that it, it is, or you can close other programs that thinks it other operations are interfering, or we can cancel the operation. I don't want to cancel the operation. I don't want, I, I just to show you, I what I click on retry and it will still not work. So the only way we can complete it is by re restarting. Since I'm on a VM, I can record the re restarting of my machine. And once my operating system boots up, 
mini tool partition will, uh, wizard will jump in and will complete the pending operation. All right. So if, if you want to cancel, you, you can you press, press any key. I did not cancel and so it will resize my partition. So let it do its task and what it is doing is this is a critical step. I mean, it is recommended that you create a bootable installation media from partition wizard which is available sorry in only the pro version and above to do this since I'm on a VM I can do this and if you are brave enough I think you can try it on a live system too um, it should go well it didn't give many any problem to me so once we boot up we will see whether it has successfully resized up our operating system partition to whatever we wanted and our OS is not corrupt. Um, now we bring up the mini tool partition wizard software again click on yes and then we will see what has happened our OS looks good so there's no problem with our OS and that's it our moment of truth is completed so we see we have resized our operating system partition see we have split it to two partitions of size 30 and 29.5 gigs. Now D is a logical partition. Now keep in mind when an MBR disk you can only have up to a maximum of four primary partition. If you want to create any further partitions then you have to create three primary partitions and one logical partition. As you can see in the Windows Explorer you will see two partitions C and D. If we have shrunk C we are only 5.1 GB is free. Since we split our operating system partition the system had to reboot but if we re split any non OS partition then it will not re reboot. So to demonstrate that so I'll select D and click on split partition and now we are free to slide it all the way to the left and all the way to the right. We are not being constrained because there is no OS system files which it will stop us to. Like sliders but you know since there is a text box there I would like to enter the size in, in text box. So yeah, I think 10 is good or oh, no 15 let's try to make it equal okay since we are splitting okay. Clicked on uh, okay and now it gives us a preview till the time we apply these changes are not permanent. Now we have clicked on apply and these changes are successfully permanent on our system. You see we have created two logical partitions three primary and two logical all right. Now the next operation I want to show you is how we can extend our operating system partition. We have two partitions on the right D and E and I can grab space from any of any of them. So I click on extend partition and we see we have two partitions on the same disk. Now I can either select D or E and I can grab free space from them. So I can drag the slider all the way to the left and the minimum size is 0 KB or I can drag the slider all the way to the right and the maximum size I can grab is 13.62 GB. You know I think there should be a provision of a text box too because text box are like accurate. I, I struggled a bit trying to get to an exact size of 5 GB as you will see shortly. Um, so this is my recommendation. I don't know why maybe I, I don't know why they did not provide a text box here. It's a slider is good but I mean a text box is more accurate right and it shortens it. I mean it's it's more accurate you can just enter enter in a size like we did in split partition and you can just move on. So for a UI change. <laughs> All right. No, no. Okay, so uh, you see, as I'm trying to select, I'm 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 struggling to get 5 GB. I get 4.99, and you, it gives us the preview. The new size of C will be 34.99 GB, and the new size of E will be 9.46 GB. Okay, and apply. And this time, since we are grabbing grabbing partition space from the other partition, it will not have to reboot. Now we grab space from E. I'm going to show you how we can grab space from D. Same thing. We select C and this is just to show you that we can from we can add, add free space to C from either any partition that it has free space. To do that again like select C and click on extend partition and this time I'm going to select C or this time, this time I'm going to select D. I can select E again but just to show you I can, I'm just going to do it from D. This time again I can either drag the part of our slider all the, to the left or the right but I'm going to select almost 5 gigs again and let's see if this time I'm successful or not. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, 5, 5 GB. Okay, maybe I don't know. Maybe I was having a problem. But a text box will be good, right? I mean, 0 GB, 5.02 doesn't 
doesn't go well doesn't go down well with me i mean i don't like 5.02 gb yeah come on i like 5 gb and i should be able to type in somewhere <laughs> all right so I click on ok and click on apply and it will write those changes to the disk permanently and now the size of my c drive is 40 gigs yeah looks good huh <laughs> i'm going to show you how we can merge adjacent partition now this feature is definitely not there in the default version of windows disk management so let's say if you want to merge d and e but we do not want to delete any data so to demonstrate that i'm going to create a new text file in my d partition and i'm going to name it test and inside i'm going to write this is some extremely important data okay this is really critical man i can't lose this all right so Let's go to E and then I'm going to right click and create a new text document. I'm going to say name this verify. Verify is fine. I don't know. I'm just coming up with the name. So I'm going to write in you have been edified. Is that even an English word? Edified. I don't know. I'm just writing edified. Uh, comma since or no comma since you love edification. All right. Find that for yourself. What does that mean? <laughs> All right. So I have two. I have two files i have a file on e and I have a file on d and since i'm going to merge to demonstrate that we select d and we click on merge partition and it says please note that it is possible to select only ntfs partition so you cannot merge an ntfs and a fat 32 partition all right so if you want to merge them then you have to first convert to ntfs or right. now since i've selected d i'll select d and i'll click on next and it says specify a folder name to keep the content of the selected partition. I have to select an adjacent partition to merge with the selected partition. I can either select C or E. To demonstrate, I'm just going to select E and I'm going to merge. So, and I'm going to just change the name. This looks good. Okay, merge partition content, but I'm going to give it my own name. Uh, I'm going to add to it. I'm going to say it is super duper underscore important. And let's select on E and click on finish so and it gives us a preview of that these two partitions are going to be merged into a partition called d and it's finished now moment of truth coming up shortly guys let's see whether we could save our data or not so if we go to our windows explorer and we find there's a partition e and we have a folder it says super duper important click on it we need to give it permission to access it this is from another partition and we have a verify you have been edified since you love edification great 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 amazing cool very very cool very cool feature definitely worth the free product <laughs> all right so the next feature i want to show you is how we can move or resize partition so we select d and click on move one resize partition and now we can slide the sliders to from the left and the right to change the structure of the partition in the disk this is really cool so what i'm doing is i'm shrinking the size of d to create unallocated space before and after the partition in selection and you should check that using enhanced data protection module okay so select on ok and click on apply and click on ok and it has been done so as you can see i created Shrimp my D partition, I moved or resized it and I created two unallocated partitions, one before it and one after it. Now, to further demonstrate what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat up the unallocated space, <laughs> unallocated space that is after C, just immediately after C and the unallocated space immediately after D. And who's going to eat that up? C is going to eat that up. Let's see how we can do that. All right. To do that, we select C and click on move or resize partition. So the first time I'm going to click on move and resize partition. And since it has unallocated space, I can just drag the slider all the way, all through the way to the right. So I click on OK and apply. And since it, there was unallocated space, I could just eat it up. Now, since the unallocated space is after D, which is immediately adjacent to C, I cannot just move or resize partition. So if I click on move or resize partition, you see, I cannot immediately grab space from D because there's no unallocated space. If there's unallocated space, you can do it. So the only way I can eat it up is by extending the partition. So I can select D 
or I can select the unallocated space. So I'm going to select the unallocated space and by sliding the sliders, I'm going to take it all the way to the right to grab up all the space. So the new size of C is going to be 49.97 gigs. I'm going to click on OK and I'm going to click on apply. Oh, yes, again, 50 gigs of C. Yes. Now, guys, that's what uh, that's I want to show you. Very, very long video. The longest video of my YouTube career as of now. <laughs> so. Uh, hopefully you like what you saw um, uh, hopefully I could demonstrate almost all the features that the free version has to offer and you could see that that's pretty cool I mean I've shown you what uh, I've shown you the features that are available in the free version works well for me I've demonstrated all the features but do your own due diligence think about it whether you need it free version is absolutely free it'll be good for you this is why this is what I want to show you the, that's what I want to show you hopefully you like what you saw and if you like what you saw please support me by and please support my channel the best way to support my channel is by sharing my video with your friends and hitting the like button or the thumbs up gently so the more you share it with your friends, the more your friends will see my video and the more you hit that like button, YouTube is going to share it with more and more people and it's going to show it to more and more people and people are going to benefit from all the operations that I've shown the demonstration. I don't think there is this long video on YouTube about all the disk operations that are possible in the free version of mini tool partition wizard thank you so much guys and if you want to see more technical and gaming videos like this please subscribe and if you want to get notified please smash the bell icon too thank you so much for your time thank you so much for watching such a long video take care see you next time